hi ho stampers welcome back to my studio today this is Deb Velder and I always love having you stop by for some craftiness today I'm going to show you this layered card that is absolutely gorgeous again like some of our kaleidoscope cards you can actually take and you can use them together or separate together is amazing so we sell this in a combo but we also sell them individually so whichever way you want to use them you can do that um, let me just show you the dies that we're using today so this is my top layer right here and like I said you can use them separately or you can use them all together as you go down each piece is going to get smaller and smaller just like our kaleidoscope cards they're just gorgeous this is the second one and that has the uh, little lamp post on it and then here are some more trees and some more trees and they cascade so that they look absolutely gorgeous so let me just show you how easy this card is all right so I just showed you the dies that we're going to be using this is what they look like and you can see that they are graduated so this would be our top layer right here this would be our second layer this would be our third and this would be our fourth and you see how the um, the little ovals get smaller and smaller and smaller they're just absolutely gorgeous all right so I did pre-cut them but I did want to show you how I did it so when you go to do this you do not have to put your ovals um, in the exact same spot meaning that you don't have to like um, mark them with a pencil or whatever what I do is I just literally stick them on there tape them on and run them through so I just kind of eyeball them and as you get down to the little one you just put it wherever you you think the middle is because I, I centered that one all the way down to this one which is the middle one and you'll see that no matter where you put them it doesn't have to be perfect because so much offsets this that there's no right or wrong way so that's a good thing that's a good reason why you're watching this video just to kind of learn and some of those tips so make sure you subscribe to all of my youtube videos because i always give you really cool tips like that um and that's just a no-brainer but sometimes you know we just have to look at it i know i'm a visual kind of person so you just have to watch somebody do it so this is um like i said all the way that it goes um i'm gonna take some of our brand new tape that's in the shop it is so stinking cute this is our removable tape we still have the other tape but um we do carry our own line right now so what i'm gonna do just to maximize I'm going to take and rip my tape in half I'm going to um, actually put it right on here like this and then all I have to do is run it through my machine and it's that easy when I go to do the next one or what one of the other ones I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to eyeball center it add my tape so that it doesn't move and then run it through the machine easy as that and when you do that with these dies I'm going to save those because I can use those again when you do that with these dies this is what you come up with all right let me just show you so like I said I've pre-cut everything um, I did um, a couple of different things um, color wise so what I did with the top layer because I'll do this one the exact same way what I did with the top one was I used our iridescent iridescent sparkle paper and um, it's beautiful all right the next one I went um, pretty light and then the next one I went a little bit darker because we're getting into the night and the last one I wanted it to be glimmery again so I used our um, iridescent paper once again all right and then our card base and our card base is what I have the um, distressed oxides on so that gave the glow from the um, little uh, lamp post right there all right so with these um, what I did do except for the very top one the top one is exactly five and a half by four and a quarter which is the same as our card base all right because this is going to be um, the same size as a card base but what I did was I just did a sixteenth of an inch just a hair um, smaller on all of these so that they didn't stick out in case I measured wrong or whatever you didn't want them to be exactly the same so I just want a hair smaller on these all right now the way that I put these together is I started with my top layer but before I do that I need to take and color this one because as you can see I have a black lamp post now I could have run a black lamp post just with a scrap piece of paper and you can still do that but I'm going to show you just an easier way so I'm going to bring in my make art station right here because I can clean that up easily I'm going to lay that down to hold it and then I'm just going to bring in my number 110 marker um, this is my Copic marker but you can use um, any black marker that you have permanent black marker you can use that whatever you just just need a black marker or black paint whatever and I'm just going to color 
that's how easy this is, all right? I just think that's a lot easier than cutting out just your lamp post. So cool. And I just use, like I said, my 110 um, black marker and just check and make sure that you have the sides done. So just run it up the side like this. Okay, so you don't see any of the sides. Good, good, good. All right, and then because I used my Copic markers, I can take and I can easily clean this off. There we go. All righty, now what we're gonna do is dry it off and we're good to go. All righty, so we have that all done. So there's my layer right there. That is my second layer. So what I do is I work from top to bottom, all right? Now you can actually take and um, glue these straight on. You don't need to pop them up in between, but I'm gonna tell you just be giving that little dimension just makes a world of difference, all right? This is what it would look like if you didn't pop it up, and that is just as pretty, but popping it up just makes it so much prettier. So what you want to do, because you don't want to spend oodles and oodles and oodles um, on postage, you want to make sure that you're going to get your thin foam squares. Now remember, I told you there's always a reason um, for the thin and the thick, and it's all. And I, I'm also going to tell you that there's a reason for the black ones and the white ones. All right, and this card explains all of that. All right, so we have the thin ones right here. Now, what I want you to know is that when you're putting these together, if you used the fat ones, okay, you're gonna have um, a piece that's gonna be, oh, probably that thick, that thick. I mean, it's just gonna be crazy. So that's why the thin ones work so well with this because you're only getting half of the layering. Um, so it's much better, um, in my opinion, that you use the skinny ones, okay, not the thick ones, the skinny ones, so that you don't get as thick. It's still gonna end up, nice and thick at the end because we've got so many layers, but it's not gonna be so thick that you can't get it through the mail machine. Does that make a little bit of sense? So I'm just gonna take and add these to the back of my piece. Okay, so I do have all of these on here. I'm just gonna clean up all of these little guys. And now we're gonna start putting it together. It is this fast, seriously. All right, so what I did was I took the top layer and I'm gonna work my way down. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna grab my Make Art Station because I've got these already on here and I've got the tape taken off of here. So I'm just gonna lightly set this on here and I'm gonna put this one on top of this one. And like I said, you're not, you're not gonna worry about where the circles are. I'm lining up more of the outside than I am the inside. All right, so now we're gonna do the next piece and I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna put the next piece on. Now I did add um, the fat ones uh, and remember I told you there, there's a reason for the white ones and there's a reason for the black ones. This is a black lamp post, so I put black um, pop dots on here, the little foam squares and what I did was um, I used the thick ones because we've got a couple of layers um, for this one. So now we're gonna take and do the next layer. So let's bring that one in and we're just gonna go just below this one. And what I'm doing is just lining up the blues because they're both just a hair tinier than the white, okay? So let's just take a look at it, make sure it's all lining up really good. Here's all of our little trees. They're just so adorable. So far, so good, all right? And then our last layer right here, we're gonna put on, and that one is gonna be the same, a little bit smaller than the top layer, but the same size as the blue layers. So I'm just lining up the blue layers. There we go. All right, now this last layer, I actually used the larger um, pop dots. Let me just show you, because I wanted it popped up quite a bit from that piece right there. All right, so I did add that, and that's why I have these foam squares that are the, the fat ones. All right, I can even probably double that. 
Um, but that's what it looks like so far. Isn't that so pretty? And remember what I told you about the middle right here? It doesn't matter that um, it's not perfectly centered. It actually looks like even a better and more interesting piece by having them off centered. And why waste your time trying to, to line them all up and use your pencil? And it just, it works out perfect. I love the way this looks. All right. So now let's take the bottom piece right here. That's our base card. And we're going to take and we're going to um, do our Distressed Oxides. And I just kind of picked out a couple of colors that I really liked out of all of my Distressed Oxides. And um, these are in the shop. I'm going to use uh, Stormy Sky. I'm going to use Chip Sapphire, Squeezed Lemon, and my favorite, um, my new favorite is Wild Honey. I love all of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece right here and I'm going to take a pencil. Now you got to be really careful because first of all, I've got the stickies on here, but anything that you put on here is going to show if you don't erase it. And once you have distressed oxides on there, you're going to um, not be able to erase. So I just put a light, a light dot there and a light dot there. And what that's giving me is kind of like where I want that yellow piece to be. All right. So... I've got them right about where I want it to be. I don't want it to be any bigger than this. So I'm going to stay below these two with my yellow. So I'm going to take my squeezed lemon. I'm going to take one of our brand new, with the caps, um, our blending brushes. And I'm going to take a yellow one. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a circle in the middle. I'm just going to burnish that circle in, in between these little dots. All right, not too big, not too small. All right, and now what I'm going to do is just take and erase that piece right there and erase that piece right there. Now what I'll do is I will take and use my chipped sapphire around the outside of it. It doesn't have to be completely covered because as you can see, it only has to be where that circle is. So I'm just going to guesstimate where that is. Let's put the top on our squeezed lemon. We're done with that one. Now we're going to use our chip sapphire. I'm going to take and just use another one of my brushes, and this is one of my blue brushes, all right? And we're just going to add a little bit of blue around the outside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to burnish it. So I'm just going to burnish in the color. And I'll keep checking with my um, piece to make sure that um, I'm, I'm actually covering it. Now you see, you see I'm staying away from the yellow and there's a reason for that and you'll see that in just a moment. Okay, you just want to burnish the color in really, really, really good. Around the outside, not getting too close to the yellow. And that's what I love about my uh, my little make art station here, okay? Because I can keep cleaning it and making sure that uh, it doesn't get on the back end of my card. Okay? Alrighty, so we've got that. Now let's just kind of soften this up a little bit. I'm going to make sure that I got it all covered for not putting it down yet. Because I'm not done with it. And see how the light, the lantern has the glow right there? All right. That's perfect. That's perfect. Perfect. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Stormy Sky and my blue brush. And just put a little bit of softening up right here. See how I'm just softening up these edges of the chip sapphire? Soften, soften, soften. Now you could just use um, a blue piece, you know, a blue background and punch out a circle, you know, just cut out a circle with one of your dies. Um, there's so many different ways that you can do it. I just love the way Distressed Oxides look though. One of my favorites. Okay. There we go. And now the finishing touch is going to be my wild honey. So I'm going to bring in my wild honey and again, not getting too close to the yellow, but watch how it all just kind of comes together. See, the yellow in the middle is still there. 
I'm just kind of going around the outside of it here and softening it all up. So pretty. All right, let's just check it and make sure. There it is. So, so pretty. Now, the other thing that I did was, let's put the tops on my, my wild honey there. I took my white uh, gel pen and I made some, now this is distressed oxide, so you could also take and just tap some um, water onto it and give yourself some uh, snowflakes, but I just wanted to use my little white gel pen. It never dries out. This is my white jelly roll. And just add some little snowflakes. I'm just going to put a couple of them in here. And then after I attach the whole thing, I'm going to see if I need some somewhere, you know, some more. All right. So there's that. Now I think we're ready to put on our piece. That's how fast this is, guys. All right. So this one is going to be identical to the base. So I'm going to line up my my corners to corners to corners and there it is isn't that beautiful and i'll just lay that down just like that so pretty all right now i think i will add a few more of these little dots see once it's on here you can kind of see where they all go isn't that so pretty so for this one i left a little bit more dark on the outside that's totally up to you you could add a little saying down here at the bottom a couple of the things that i was going to do is to add some uh little uh, snow with our with one of our um nouveau drops so i can take and i can use oh oh so many different things all right so that is our card for today you guys it is so oh no wait 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 we got to do one more thing let's bring this back in I'm going to change my, I have my Merry and Bright right here. Let me just show it to you. My Merry and Bright. All right. I'm going to take and I'm going to open up. Let me just show you what it's going to look like. I'm going to open up my card. I'm going to take my yellow uh, and my my um, lemon, uh, squeezed lemon again. I'm just going to add a little circle to the inside. There we go. And then... Let's add, let me change out my, I'm going to put in my permanent um, dots and very carefully go over and what it does is it leaves dots where the paper is, but doesn't leave it where the paper isn't. So you have no messy glue. There we go. It's stuck to my finger, so you know it sticks. All right. Oop, sticky, sticky. All righty. Here we go. Let's move this out of the way. Move this in here and just add it. Merry and bright, and we are good to go. Whoops. Let's get that uncentered. Center, center, center. And there we go. That is our merry and bright. So cute. So that is our card for today. Super simple. If you're doing many of these, all you have to do is cut out all of one color, cut out all of another 10, 15, 20, however many you're going to do, and there you have your card. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. You guys, remember to subscribe to our videos by clicking on the little subscribe button below. Hit the bell. You'll get a, an instant video as soon as we put one up. Hit the thumbs up button, and please share this with your friends. You take care. Have a great day, and thank you for stopping by. Merry Christmas.